I can give you an example. Mm -hmm. uh, a friend of mine, uh, she um, was unemployed. And if you're unemployed, uh, you uh, Sweden have, uh, like a lot of countries, mm -hmm. uh, this place where you can go to get a job. It's like the uh, employment center, agency. Yeah, employment agency. Center, yeah. Mm -hmm. So she went there and she felt like she was treated like an idiot. Because that's that's how you feel when you go to these centers sometimes mm -hmm. because it's not working very well. Most of the jobs are being, uh, you know, on the streets and they're not coming to the centers. And the people at the centers, they say that, oh, you have to do a CV, you have to do like that, you have to do like that, blah, blah, blah. And she felt, um, felt stupid and she felt like she was very alone. So she said on Facebook, she said, we are 900,000 unemployed people in Sweden. Mm -hmm. Why am I feeling alone? It's a feeling that she had. So she started a Facebook group, doesn't cost anything, uh, which she, she calls the Job Family. So it is a family, anyone can join, and it's a family for unemployed people. But, and this is a cool thing, she also invited friends that had jobs, like myself. I've never been unemployed because I've been an entrepreneur all my life. Mm -hmm. But she invited me to the group. Why? Well, because if we're unemployed, we need friends, because we don't want to feel alone. And then she started to produce a little bit of content, like, you know, small Instagram pictures, and with the message, 900,000 people are unemployed, why should, you should not feel alone. And then she started to work with this idea that we should not feel alone. And in this group, there are constantly people posting questions, such as, I'm going to a job interview, uh, I don't know, should I, should I present myself like this? And, and someone else is saying like, hey, we need some people for an event, anyone mm -hmm. interested? And someone else is posting like, how do you feel about this? And how do you feel about that, etc. you know, and those kind of things. And what's also happened is that people come with ideas. So uh, one guy was posting like, I need, uh, I, I'm a, I'm a uh, magician. I do uh, tricks. 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 Mm -hmm. uh, I would like to, to go somewhere and perform. And I immediately thought, well, because as, as I told you in the lecture, yeah. my daughter has only one hand. Mm -hmm. And my daughter said to me, I, I also want to do tricks. But a lot of the magician ma magic tricks mm -hmm. are being uh, designed for two hands. So I immediately talked with him because I got this idea that, hey, maybe you and I should ma make a magic box for people with one hand. It's amazing. That would be cool. It's and, he, and he said, yeah, let's meet and have a coffee. And then I met with this guy and it, and it shows up that he was still in school. I had no idea who he was. He was really, really young. And I was like, that's so funny. And he's like, yeah, because I love Harry Potter, but I never got an invite to the Hogwarts. So I had to learn myself, you know. Great. And then I'm like, wow, we can do really... And he's like, I wanna really want to do this magic box. So right now we're, we're trying to create... And to, in my head, this Facebook group is now becoming a place where people are feeling uh, less alone. Mm -hmm. And there is also a place where people connect and start to come up with product ideas. And you, know, you can do whatever you like with this. And no money at all. It's just a movement. But I think that's the key. You cannot go out and say like, hey, I want to broadcast my message. You have to go out and say, hey, how can, how can I help?